Hi, my name is Frank Bergnos of the executive chef for APW Baker's Pride and Star Holdings. Many restaurants, bars, and pubs have been closed due to the rules and regulations of the pandemic. Today, we're going to show you how simply you can meet those requirements to reopen and serve basic foods using the Star Panini Sandwich Grill. Now we're gonna do some mini street tacos with carnitas, which is the same product that we used in the burrito. It's a very simple procedure. We're going to heat the uh, carnitas and then we're gonna build the tacos. Okay, we're gonna put the carnitas directly on the grill, get a nice sizzle on it. And for all of those tacos, it'll only take about eight ounces to 10 ounces of carnitas. This will only take a couple of minutes to heat up. So we'll drop that down and you can hear it. And I wish you could smell how wonderful it is. It's just, just aromatic. Okay, now we're gonna pull the carnitas off and build the street tacos. And this is now at 160 plus. It's been on for about two and a half minutes. We'll get all of that. I wish you could smell this. Oh my God, is it wonderful. We're gonna set this over. And one thing we want to do as we've talked about is make sure that we get all of the proteins off that we can before we close it down so it doesn't burn. Now let's build these street tacos. It's very easy. It just takes a little bit of patience and just a little bit of topping. It doesn't need much. So all you're going to do is drop a little bit in, touch it down. Take you as long to make it as it does to heat it, just about. But they are great, great bar food and simple to make and very catchy. And tacos are a big, big thing right now. Street tacos, great stuff. I find when you build these, it's a lot easier to put them in this rack than try to hold them while you stuff them. There's a little bit of logistics involved in building them. So there is an order of tacos, mini tacos. Now we'll put all the goodies that go along with it. We put just a touch of black bean in there and it may, you may find it easier if you're gloved to do it by hand. Just set a couple in, you're gonna have some fall off. There's no way to get around it, but that's all right. Black bean is such a nice addition. It gives you a nice little crisp in it. Okay, and now we're gonna take a little cheese, just a little bit. You don't need a lot. As I said, this is, these are little guys. They just take a little bit. They're so pretty when they're done. Now you have a choice of queso blanco or a number of other things. I like a little tomato in mine also, so I'll stick a little tomato on top. Now, give you an idea for putting tomatoes and the like on after we put a little queso blanco on. And just a little bit. Again, this doesn't take much. And you can actually do this right on the plate and leave the spillage right on the plate also. Okay, so we've got that on. I'm gonna take a little shot of sour cream on each. And we're gonna serve this with salsa. There we have that, and we have a choice now. We can call that square, or we can add a little green onion, or we can add green pepper. You have a number of choices. I'm going to serve it with just a little bit of tomato on top today. And it just makes it look pretty. And the second set I'll dress with lettuce and some other things. But I want you to see this basic, and this delivered to a table, is very impressive. There you go. And the last thing I'll do is a little sprinkle of spice. And there you have street tacos. And now I'll do the second group with a different way. Okay, now I'll put these on a plate and I'll show you how this goes on also. So 
So you're going to lift because they're in this frame and you want to be very careful and you lift and set. So there's one that could be an appetizer by itself or a meal. If you slide it to one side, we can put a second on there and I am going to put a second set on there. Now the second set I'm going to do differently. I'm going to take a little salsa first. And this is very simple, just a little touch of salsa in each one. And again, you can get as creative as you want to. I've had people that have used fig sauce and prosciutto in these. Uh, there's so many different ways you can serve these. It's really as creative as you want to be. But I'll tell you, this is a high margin, simple snack to make. Or it can be a bar snack or it can be a meal truthfully. And if you serve this with a little bit of rice and pico de gallo, you've got a meal. So we're setting a little bit of salsa in each one. There we go. And now we're going to take a little lettuce. Just a little bit of lettuce in each one. It gives a little crunch. It's a nice little crunch. So we'll set some in each one. And again, it takes a little while to build, but they're very much worth it. They're excellent flavors. And you can use fully shredded or partial. I don't like real shredded lettuce in the taco. I like something with a little bite to it. And this is going to give you a little bite. Okay, now that I got that on there, nice. I'm going to put just a touch of rice on each one. So again, just a little hit. So I'm going to put some of the carnitas in now. And again, just a little bit. You don't have to go crazy. This is usually a one mouth bite and uh, so you just want it to be a simple simple addition little pico and you, and you can see how little I'm using but how full they look by the time we're done the carnitas is such a wonderful flavor I think you'll love these We've got the carnitas in there now very nice and lastly we'll put these are very simple ones we're just going to put a shot Sour cream on each, and just a little touch of tomato at the very top, just to give it a little color and a little crunch. And lastly, but not least, with a little jalapeno, and there is your second set of carnitas mini tacos. Simple foods, high margin, low cost. Thank you.